The notice board without the poll may contain interesting stories about local people and or places. You can make dragon bone weapons at a forge. All right. Welcome back to the stream. I know it's been over a month since the last time I had an opportunity to stream, and I do apologize for that, but sometimes real life sucks. But, and you'll notice that, or you will notice if you were here before, we're still using Solar Lightfoot or High Elf Talos, High Elf Talos, Talos Worshipper. He, um, but there was an issue with Karen Thier Tower Reborn and Indigo. And uh, basically, you can't get rid of Inigo once you go into the tower with him. So we had to roll back to save, send Inigo home, and we're going to restart Karen Thier Tower Reborn with Solar Lightfoot by himself. Karen Thier Tower Reborn is a mod by uh, Dark Fox One Two Seven. Great guy, great mod. Hey, PJ, thanks. Um, thanks for the follow. And so we will go find what we need to do to get started here. Oh, wrong button. How's it going? Yeah, this is a uh, this is interesting dark fox is actually reworking the mod into a version 4 but that's months away from being released let's see i am expecting someone to appear on the road Ooh, seven hour meeting. I um I I commiserate and feel your pain. I pulled a day like that yesterday. I was up at five so my son could get a colon scope and I didn't get to bed last night till almost midnight. Oh look, he's following us. You there. I have something for you. Who I am is not important. What is important is that you take this note. Read it out of sight. People could be watching. What are you talking Everything about? What you need to know is written in the note. Yeah, not a suspicious dude at all. Let's find some place go back to Cillian Manor which is the mod where I was sitting when I started the stream now we don't have to walk we can run we'll run back up to Cillian Manor this is a great house mod we'll do a tour of it later but uh yeah I got kids and Rhea inside so let's see uh read the note Andean's Note. Solar Lightfoot, pay close attention. My name is Andean, and I have been tasked with delivering an ancient artifact to you. I am part of a secret order whose name I cannot disclose. Our job is to archive special items and messages to be delivered across Tamriel. This particular artifact is one of two that we have been sworn to protect for hundreds of years. The other artifact was stolen by one of our own, a man who goes by the name of Earbrand. His motives for taking the artifact remain a mystery. We do not know 
who is sending you this artifact, but we do know that in they intend it to be yours. <laughs> yeah, let's 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 hope better things come about. The short message which accompanied these artifacts is to head to the mountains of Winterhold. There you will find your way. You may we think Airbrand is, was able to acquire this information too and has already made their way there. You should follow him, kill him, and retrieve what is yours. Mm. We have a quest. E. Mm. We'll see what happens later. Let's look at the map. And here we are in solitude and we have to go somewhere over here let's go to drift shade refuge <laughs> yeah, set it on fire. Yeah, then we wouldn't get to go sit through the mod and find all the interesting things if I set the note on fire and then didn't go. Oh, of course it said clear, but not. I love archery. It's so overpowered. Don't want to get sidetracked, but I do want to collect the loot. I don't think this one has any of those uh, thousand plus damage uh, potions. At least to do, I haven't found it when I've played it before. Well, this, yeah, we'll keep that. I don't think I have one of those. We'll always keep the arrow. That's over a hundred. And yeah, that ain't worth taking. All right. Winter hold is in that direction. Oh, wait a minute. I'm lost. I'm on the roof of a building and I got lost. Oh, I can see what kind of night this is going to be. Oh, I hadn't... Yeah, one shot a dragon with a boat. That that would be cool. Did I drop out a minute ago? Because my thing said I looks like I might have. I'll have to look that up. All right, let's see this. Jump here, there's a terrain mismatch. Oh, look, there's a statue. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I only have like 10 uh, megabits up, so sometimes uh, it can lag out. Oh, look. There's a s mysterious sword laying on the ground. That's not supposed to be there. Hmm. Well, let me take the sword. Let's search the corpse. 
We will inspect first. This must be Urbrand, the man from the note. It looks like the other artifact he stole was a sword. Whatever killed him didn't do it for profit for all his possessions and ancient artifacts are still here. I should have I should leave the sword until I know more about it and what I'm doing here. Let's, do, let's loot the corpse. An armsman sword. Ooh, that's that looks interesting. Steel dagger and a wooden club. Yeah, you can keep those. Welkin stone. Phosphorescence. I don't need the shovel. Let's look in the nappy sack. Urbrand's journal. Don't need a lantern. Ooh, petty soul gems. And a septum. Well, let's see what the journal has to say. Twentieth evening star, and that stuff is in the way I can't read. I have re retrieved the sword that once belonged to an Altmir named Lucan, Carinthir. I have spent much time reading up on this ancient wizard and ha and was able to finally track down the location of his personal sword named sorry dark fox uh, Val Vos Lazos Toss yeah, I, I don't know you can read you guess my guess your guess is as good as mine it has taken me many years to infiltrate the ranks of a secret order whose purpose to his is to archive ancient artifacts such as this for delivery to their rightful owners. I can't imagine anyone being around to claim this sword after so many hundreds of years. So, where is the harm in making me? In, where is the harm in me taking it? The sword seems to have aged well, although it's been through many battles and there seems to be some damage to the hilt. It is said that this sword holds great power and has the ability to change form. It also it was also whispered to, to be the key to opening the portal of Lucan Sanctuary, whatever that might be. After digging through a lot of books in the archives, I have found that the Sanctuary of Lucan I have found the Sanctuary of Lucan and is in the fact a huge wizard's tower. It looks like for whatever reason he decided to hide the tower and sometime after completely disappeared without a trace. From the books I read, there were a lot of missing ruined pages, so things are not as so clear and there are huge gaps in the records. There must be someone who knows more, although I need to be careful as not to erase suspicion. I also need to get out of here before someone notices the sword is missing. I, but I can't do that until I know the location of the tower. I have it. I have the location of the tower. I took a little convincing of one of the older elders. But let's just say I was very persuasive in the end. The tower can be found up in the mountains of Winterhold and should be easy enough to find. All I have to do is get there and then gain entry to the tower. I expect that the sword will have something to do with that. It's time to prepare for the journey ahead and get rid of this body I've been hoarding before someone finds that as well. Every second longer I wait increases the chance of me getting caught by the order. Hopefully I will be long gone before they notice that something's happened. It was an arduous journey, but I got there eventually. The entrance itself doesn't seem to have any te text marking it. However, there is a ledge of sorts a little higher up the mountain. The entrance seems to be recessed in the ground, and there's a receptacle that looks like will hold the sword. This has to be it. I should simply insert the sword, and the entrance will fully reveal itself. After a good night's sleep, I noticed something just poking out of the snow. I grabbed for my shovel and dug up what seemed like some old artifacts from the tower. Maybe some of these items can aid me in my attempts to uncover the tower. Now that I've finished digging, I'm going to proceed to open the entrance by placing the sword 
in the receptacle and see what happens. Hmm, well, let's go back down the hill and see if we can pick the sword up now. Oh, maybe I have the sword. I have a lot of arrows. did the sword go? Oh, there it is. It moved. Oh, that's what I needed. I needed to hit E on the gym now. So let's hit, let's hit Z. Oh, it goes from two handed, a one handed, but back to one handed. All right. Hmm. There's a stone dragon. Nothing suspicious about that, is there? Inspecting it, pressing E does not do anything. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go up this side first. This wasn't here in 3.0, so. Let's see what he put up here for 3.1. Oh, there's Abzura. Nice view up here. Ooh, some match, match ground level out. Seems to be just superfluous um, details. down this way <laughs> ambiance Ooh, 
a snow globe with a magic anomaly in it. Snow globe found. Snow globes will give you access to new features throughout the tower as you collect them. For example, the frost astronaut globe will unlock the ability to conjure a frost astronaut at the altar of magic. Find all the snow globes to unlock one final special summon. Let's see what happens. Use the receptacle. Why is it always dragons? I don't like dragons. I missed. Die. We just die. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? It's a ghost. Yeah, Dragonborn Slayer of Dragons. Uh, I hate dragons. Though, which is why in the, actually in this playthrough, I haven't actually activated the dragons yet. I want to get everything else done before I turn the dragons on. Well, there's the tower now arisen. I hear things I don't like. Use the portal. Would you like to charge this portal with a Wayland Stone? Warning, Wayland Stones used to charge portals are not returned to you in a depleted state. Yes. Hmm. Use the portal. Let's go to the lobby. Oh, for full disclosure, I beta tested this mod. It is available on the Nexus. Let's see.
you gotta get that flame in the right spot. Oh, we've lit everything up. Why? Oh, Inigo. Yeah, no, we're not looking for Inigo. We don't need Inigo. That will mess this up. Oh, yeah, Inigo to Brave is not compatible with this. The uh, If you take Inigo in here, you can't send Inigo away. It crashes the game. And he doesn't know why. I don't know why. Karen Thier Tower Legacy Volume 1. Karen Thier Tower by Luke and Karen Thier. If you are reading this, it means you have gained access to my greatest creation and, and my legacy. Only someone with great potential could have gained access to the tower, and my spirit shall live on to guide you. This tower holds my life's work, which, let me tell you, is a lot. I have tr lived for many hundreds of years, and I did not plan on leaving this realm so soon. I have always tried to push the boundaries of magic, and in the end, it was that which sent me to an early... This is 3.1. Mundoran, it's 3.1. It's the last of uh, the last one that's out. Maybe you will be able to succeed where I failed, or maybe you will simply make the same mistakes that I did. Either way, I have left this tower to you. It's your responsibility. Now, to continue my work and restore the tower to what it once was. Your first course of action should be relight the forge. The tower sleeps in cold without it. Bring heat back to its iron heart. The forge gains its power from deep beneath the mountain and feeds lava through steel pipes. There are four valves situated inside the tower. Two reside in the forge, the other two in the vault. Before I buried the tower inside the mountain, I packed most of my equipment and crates throughout the tower. You can find most of what you're going to need in there. Proceed with caution, however, as the dragon at the entrance was your first test, but certainly not your last. Unpack crates. Would you like to unpack the crates inside? Clutter in the lobby. Takes two hours. Yes. Oh, I need bookshelves. I don't have the bookshelves. Alright. Let's see what. Use the lift. Yeah, no, not the best material for lava. Let's see, he said the vault. And the forge. Should have gone to the forge first. Oh well, I said vault first. There it is. Mommy? Oh, 
Oh look, it's Frank. That's why I use the bow. Poor Frank. He was loved once. Coins. There are a hundred alien coins to collect throughout the tower. Find them all for a special reward. I hear a Sheltie scratching at the door and barking. The Wayland Stones, Volume 1. During my travels across Tamriel, I have come across many incredible discoveries. However, I have not found anything quite as useful as Wayland Stones. From the information I have been able to gather, these crystals were created by a race of elves known as aliens. The crystals were created for the use of meteoric uh, made with the use of meteoric glass. Though nobody knows exactly how the aliens created them, they have the ability to store great amounts of mag magicka which can then be drawn from the crystal if you have the skill. I have spent years researching Wayland Stones and trying to find a way to use them. I eventually discovered a way to prevent the stones from crumbling to dust after use and create a device which can recharge one of the stones with one quick burst of magicka. The method behind the magic is far too complex to explain in detail. So it is so to put it simply, I found a way to cast a constant self-sustaining magical shield around each stone. Anyone with a decent set of eyes and with the knowledge of ordinary whaling stones should notice the slight deviation in color. This is due to the actual taining process I invented which may aid in rather ingenious if I do say so myself. This is due to the additional tanning process I invented, which I may add is rather ingenious if I do say so myself. The tanning process has enabled me to use the stones to power my many inventions in addition to their natural ability to restore one's magicka. Originally, I managed to collect a great many of the Wayland stones from old alien ruins, but many were destroyed during my experiments I now only have a small amount left, and to that end, I would advise you to take great care not to lose any. All right. Hmm. Oh, now the force field's off that door. And there's rubble over here. Oh, we can remove the rock pile. Yes, we want to remove the rock pile because we want to go through the door. And pressing Y didn't do anything. Let's just have to click on it. 
Oh, previously I have... I am the harbinger of the companions. That's why I have the cape. sealed in. I hope we can get out. It's a valve. Let's turn it. We don't know what this does, but we'll go ahead and turn it just to, just because. Should have done last time with the boots. Let's see. Oh, am I? Oh no. Requirement. Oh, I gotta restore the dormitory first. Anything in there? Nope. Yeah, I think in his uh, new one, he's got doing the doors differently in version 4. What is it with magicians and empty wine bottles? What is magic fueled by, uh, by liquor? Less in here than on the other side. Oh, I got it. Okay. Another valve. We don't really know what this does, but let's go ahead and turn it anyway. need for this vault furniture which I don't have and what do I need for this restore the lobby first hey hobo uh, slurping 57 thank you for the follow <laughs> the liquor keeps him warm on a snowy mountain. Hmm. We have a issue. Magic tallow candles. Soul gem fragments. Magic quarters painting. Reactivate the chest of assortment. Do you wish to teleport the chest of assortment to the mage's quarters? This action will require one single Wayland stone. Hmm. 
And we'll see if I messed up. The chest of assortment has been teleported to the Mage's Quarters. The chest will allow you to auto-sort items throughout the tower. Cool. Alright, let's see. Let's go back to the lobby. Since there's a forced barrier there. Let's go take the elevator. We'll go to the forge this time. Which is apparently in the basement with the vault. Just a different different basement. It's dark. I hope you can see because it's dark on my screen. Do I need to brighten the uh, gamma up a little bit? lights they are on Crafting clutter, empty. Hides and leather, empty. Unpack crates. All right, we have done that. This will take three hours. Hopefully not three real hours. <laughs> yes, true. You really wouldn't want the lava on the top floor. This is true. This is true. Question is, is the vault above us or below us? Something glowing in blue. What's it do? Power up. The charging station. Do you wish to power up the charging station using your magicka? Sure, why not? Use the charging station. Wayland stone or ambulatory portal. You have found an ambulatory portal. You can place this device on the ground and teleport back to Karenther Tower up to three times before it runs out of charge. You can return to the charging station and charge the portal, which can take anywhere thing up to 36 hours, depending on the current charge of the device. As the portal is currently depleted and require a large charge before it can be used. Understood. Wayland. Oh, let's see. I have a ghost. What should I do, Mr. Ghost? Use the crap. The carpenter's been. 
Crafting throughout Carantir Tower works very similar to Hearthfire system, but is a little more simple and realistic. If you have time passing enabled in the MCM, you will notice that items take time to craft and the amount is indicated in the brackets in the name of each. You can use the workbench and the tanning rack once crafted to, cr to craft items throughout the tower or use the recruitment ledger to hire the forge master to do the work for you if you have the coin. I have the coin because of one of my mods. <laughs> I like to do things the easy way. Hmm, let's see. Alchemy lab, dormitory, library, lobby, mage's quarters, or the vault. Let's find a recruitment ledger. More coins, goat horns, hinge locks. <laughs> this is true. This is true, Mundoran. Yeah, have the vault all the way on bottom so you can flood it with lava. Let's go ahead and do the lobby. Hmm. We need firewood. Okay, yeah, we're going to get the. Uh, it's the part about hearth fire I don't like the crafting. Well, let's see. I don't want the quill. The recruitment ledger. All right. Only the Ford measure can be recruited here. Once the relevant requirements have been met, recruit the Forge Master. All right, we have 24 hours. Let's. Let's go explore. Use the lift. Let's go to the alchemy lab. See what the next room set uh, looks like. Lift alchemy. Hmm. Hmm. Cancel. Let's go to the portal. See where we can go there. Go to the library. Off to the library.
boy, I suck at magicianing. Wow, not very library, is it? But, you know, we got to get it restored. Use the portal, let's see. In the alchemy lab. Let's go to the dormitory next. To the dormitory! <laughs> Why is it that I now hear the Batman thing playing in my head? a button cannot be used at this time I don't know. or pull everything actually Library, the alchemy lab. All right, into the mage's quarters. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, we have a throne. And here's the sorting chest. And what do we need to do? We need bookshelves. Yeah, we gotta wait for the um, thing because I don't like crafting. Enhanced Welkin Stone is required. Ooh, an alien coin that I just lit up. Let's check the MCM menu since it mentioned that. Features. Auto close doors. That sounds good. Auto loot crafting. Items and containers around crafting stations are automatically added to your inventory for crafting. That sounds like a good thing to do. Dynamic interiors. I believe he was having issues with this, so we'll leave that off. Immersive storage. Restricts what items can be placed in certain containers. What the heck? Restricted bookshelves. If turned on, notes cannot be placed in bookshelves. That sounds good. Realistic construction. Restoring the tower will require different skill levels and more resources. Yeah, I'm not going to use it because I'm going to have the Forge Master. Banners. 
We will use the Karen. No, 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 no. Let's see. I'm hurt. There's no companions banner. So we'll use Karen Thier's banner. Drapes. Use the carver's workbench, okay. Flooring, stone. Let's go with marble. I like marble. Lift design, magicals, good. Rugs, okay. Carpenter's workbench again. Tower snows, okay. Progression, we'll see. We have found the anomaly and the werewolf. Seven of a hundred coins, two memoirs found, and one of six unique items found. Hmm. Settings, animations turned on, encounter zones turned off, portal auto save. Perk boost, pastime, time screens turned off, power on, tutorial turned on. And the tower goes. Okay. We will do our first save for the night. Uh -huh. That's probably a bad thing. Let's go out to Skyrim. Look at the view. Or see where this door goes. Oh, wonderful. It's snowing. Atmospheric adjuster. Additional items required. With a snow globe, we have the Fist Mother snow globe now. Magic. Which reminds me, I had a spell book. Go back to mm, the lobby so we can go back to the forge. All right, PJ, thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Have a good night's sleep. We'll catch it. Catch you later on Discord. jumped in the water.
All right, let's go to the forge. Can't sleep there. Go to the vault. Sides has a bed in it. Why did that time work? Sorry if it's twitchy, I just... Walking around in circles. didn't work either. Hmm.
wait for the forge master to show up. Get him to do some of this work for us. and come back. See at the Forge Master has showed up. All right, here's what we're going to do we're going to wait 24 hours. And see if the Forge Master shows up now. There is a dog. He seems to be stuck. All right, let me go away. What time is it? come back I think I glitched it by doing waiting inside the forge Can you restore a room for me? Let's see. Let's start with the mage's quarters so I can go to sleep. All right, that's nice of you. Take the lift to the lobby. Well, 
Let's use the magic altar. Conjure a creature. Mm, need three wisp wrappings. Need an ice wolf pelt and a daedric heart. Need three spriggan sap. Let's turn the page. Interesting. Turn the page. Well, okay, it's just two pages. Animations are broken. I don't know if that's something I did. Skyrim. It is daylight and it's still snowing. Don't like snow. Let's sit on the throne. And the Sheltie's barking in the background because it's feeding time. And my son hasn't fed them yet. Is it all thinks about loading in? Can you restore a room for me? Let's see how much do I have. Let's do the lobby next. Oops. Okay. I know what we're going to have to do. We shall fast travel to my castle in Falkreath for some coin.
should have come here first and got more coin. I know, it's cheating, but... Frank gave me this castle. Oh, we gotta go open the... The poor colors. They did, Frank. Frank owned this castle, but before he came, a animated angry suit of armor. Do I still have that note? No, I do not. I've put it away somewhere. And now I don't remember where. Is it a nap there? Nope. This is the lounge area for Castle Fall Creek. Also leads to the basement. This is the non-vampire version of Castle Fall Creek. There is a vampire version. If you're into playing vampires. something well just need to come in to the safe oh no nope, I've already got the 65,000 out of here I will take these out yeah nice don't have to worry about money need oh. something no Igor I don't need anything you just sit right there and I'll lock you in Oh, I am, you know, an Altmir. I worked in the, fought in the Great War. I earned my uh, coin honestly. Sort of. It was a Nord prisoner that convinced me to be a, that Talos was a god, and I renounced the Aldemary Dominion and left. Yes. Stop by the monument while we're away from Carinthier Tower. Pay our respect to Bear. Bear was a young Skyrim player, and his brother asked a mod 
maker to make this shrine dedicated to him. If you're here at the shrine at midnight, you will see Bear's ghost and his uh, sidekick's ghost at this monument. And of course, we arrive daytime. But we will read in memory of Bear. Life is good. You know what I mean. We miss you, your brother. We will pay respects to Bear, a young Skyrim player. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Can't you see Let's I'm see paying my I've respects to Bear? And a lot of gold. Something about it being your uh, oh inheritance. Oh, Interesting. Sorry for your loss. Oh, thank you. Looks like that's it. Got to go. while we are paying our respects and I have a feeling I'm locked in here. Letter of Inheritance. Let's see who died. Solar Lightfoot, in the name of Jarl Elisys the Fair, it is with great regret that we inform you of Friedri Friedrika's death. The deceased has bequeathed unto you the measure of inheritance, the amount of 100 gold pieces. The Jarl's court has levied an amount of 10 gold pieces from the sum as the lawfully and honorably due tax. The remainder has been commended unto the care of a trusted courier for deliverance. While all the Jarl's court grieves with you on this day, we rejoice in the knowledge that the deceased was in possession of dear friends and wealth to communicate unto them. May this lawfully bestowed inheritance prove as a reminder of your enduring faith to one uh, another. And to the Jarl's benevolence accord unto you both. Interesting. Well, let's now move on to Karen Theer Tower and continue the simple revival of the tower. Game time is three forty. Let's go to the major's quarters and sleep. We haven't slept in some days now. Key holder. Karen Thier's Tower Legacy number three. The past. Let's not read these out of order, though. Recruitment ledger. 
The recruitment letters used to bring new members to the tower who have their own unique uses. They can help with the restoration of the tower or provide new resources. It can take anywhere up to three days for new recruits to arrive at the tower. Understood. All right, we've already got a forge master. We can't recruit anybody right now. Box of gems, wardrobe is empty. Search the cupboard, let's see what's in my cupboard. Three septums, those could come in handy. Just clutter. Search miscellaneous stuff. That's empty. Search the cupboard. Some more septums. The little bear in Zaya 2. Empty. Jewelry box. Wardrobe heavy armor. Light armor. Clothes. Bed covers. Swap bed covers. Oh, there we go. Let's let's go to sleep for. We need to sleep for eight hours. Oh, look! It's a sweet roll. Lots of sweet rolls. cases the scroll station. Alright, let's see. So you have to go to the lobby. go to the forge. I think we're going to get the lobby done here. And I'll probably call it a stream. It's been... Hello, my friend. Ah, the voice is now working. And the animations. Where are you? Oh, there Hello, you are. Friend. Good to see you. Can you restore room I'm for me? I'm tired. I haven't slept well in weeks. I'm sorry. As you wish. Restore will take 18 hours. Let's go to the alchemy lab.
go to the mage's quarters. Sleep in the bed. For eighteen hours. We're dropping to twenty FPS while we're doing this. That's not good. But then I only have a GT six thirty, you know, a great office graphic card I gotta get that oh it's time to go to shoal rest farm where i started the game and collect my reward uh my earnings but we will just go check out the lobby i think we'll call it an evening we've been going a little over an hour and a half We were a staff enchanter. Read on enchanting, another alien coin, soul gems. Paragon collection. We will probably go do uh, Dawn Guard next. Enchanting station. Got it. Let's go check the mage's quarters again. See if the weather has improved outside, and then we will call it an evening. That's much better. We can see out there's Azura. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Let me go up here and save. Quit to the main menu. Well, Thank you for coming. I want to thank PJ and Mundorn for for uh, for chatting, and thank everyone who did the follows for the follows. Uh, we will hopefully be back tomorrow night uh, to continue on from where here where we left off. Thank you again for coming, and uh, this will be up on YouTube. Uh, in an hour or so, once it, you know, I get it rendered and uploaded in its beginning and complete raw form. I don't do any editing. Again, thank everyone for coming. Thank you. And see you next time.